with it do youtube it's your boy tiva aka king ram back with another vlog man um, as you can see man i'm out here in nature it's about to rain though so it looks kind of crazy so we're gonna have to start heading back y'all ain't noticed a familiar face <laughs> no nah, uh-huh so i'm walking my dog you know what i mean there's a reason why i'm out here man because it's a serious video and um it might be relevant to today on because i know people don't do this on the regular mostly people like do it's like smoke weed and that's about it what was that something clicking over there all right anyway um so today's vlog is going to be about psychedelics now psychedelics has been around since probably like the 1930s or at least in like were introduced to america around the 1930s a natural chemical i would say it is a natural chemical so that part i won't argue about is it meant to be inside of our system inside of our spiritual bodies mm, questionable to me at least you know what i'm saying so that's just my opinion i've actually done psychedelics so um my experience with my experience with psychedelics it really in all honesty it was straight you know what i mean it was good you know enlightenment yeah i felt enlightenment but you gotta understand enlightenment is like the first step what indicates a good trip or a bad trip i can't even tell because it was my first time doing it you know what i'm saying i always feel like paranoid or something like that but that wasn't really even the case i felt a lot of things i felt good i felt paranoid i felt thinking a lot and all this stuff you know you just your mind goes everywhere that's the difference between psychedelics and then meditation what i would like to argue is that a lot of people don't even believe this they don't even think about this we don't need that We don't need psychedelics. We don't need acid, LSD, DMT, um, shrooms. You know what I'm saying? We we it's, that's already implanted us. Each thing triggers whatever is in our body system, whatever is in our brain. We can already see distorted visuals. We can already. It's just like alcohol. If you start spinning around like multiple multiple times, you're gonna get dizzy because that's just you know that's just how it is. You know that's just science. And I am a science, it's just like how you know God created us, you know, we can't be doing that obviously. What indicates what I, I don't like about psychedelics, if I have to pick something I dislike about it, is that what people don't understand about it is that we don't need it. And some people sometimes you do need that extra kick to like, you know, get you back in focus or whatever, you know, which is fine. I think you should do it at least once in your life. You know, but, but for people that continuously do it, they think they need this because they don't understand that that power is within us already. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, that's thunder. So I'm trying to hurry back. And uh, just to add on, what I believe is that I know for a fact that I could channel that just by meditation. Meditation is like what y'all see, what y'all claim y'all see when you're um, on shrooms or, or psychedelics. I'll just say psychedelics. Like... It's probably like, um, I would say, like distorted visuals, maybe. You know, I, I, to be honest, it's not nothing crazy. Like, wait, the TV will never get it right up. Anything on the internet, videos will never get that right. And just to have like a, my deepest thoughts on it. And you know, I thought about it for the longest time, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I just, I don't understand why people this is one thing about drugs that i don't understand first of all a drug is a drug good drug better there's no such thing as a good or a bad drug you know what i mean it's just a chemical it's a natural chemical it doesn't it itself the object doesn't make that's not a sin you taking it could be a sin you know what i'm saying so because your body is the temple of god you know what i'm saying whatever your religion is i don't know but that's why i believe you know what i'm saying as far as like people taking psychedelics and myself included when i did it because i don't do it you know anymore whatever I, I meditate meditation is definitely the key because it's something that you can control a lot of people ride the drug really the drug is supposed to be riding you because 
you're the biggest source. You're bigger than that drug. You know what I'm saying? So um that's my that's that's just like one of my whole things about that, you know what I mean? It's just you can't and it even depends on your state, your mental state. I'm going to continue to vlog inside my house about you know psychedelics bad trips and good trips and um, people believe so on it affects you know so I'm gonna continue try to continue where I left off hopefully I don't really like repeat anything I said but you'll get the picture and you'll get like new ideas and you know opinions from me you know what I'm saying like I said it's just my opinion my opinion is not I mean it is valid you know so um but I'm just speaking from a spiritual uh, mind state. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue and to keep y'all entertained. I don't know if y'all knew this or not, but I know how to draw. I don't just rap. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this drawing and show you guys the results afterwards while I, you know, tell you that way you have something to look forward to. This is getting boring, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to keep it uh, as uh, entertaining as possible. So bear with me. I, I'll. Would have been a whole lot better with my co-star, you know, uh, Don Lamar, as you know. Shout out to Don Lamar. He's uh, handling his busy right now, working, working man, you know. Trying to make it out here during this uh, horrible, yet comes out to a blessing impact, you know. At the end result, you know, so all this is necessary. So, um, basically to continue where I left off. I think that, um, well, I'm gonna start with shrooms, okay? Since that's what I did. Um, they call it magic mushrooms. And this is the thing that's the deceiver. You can easily deceive the human eye and the human mind, I believe, you know what I'm saying? Just by titles alone, just by like what you call something or portray it to be. I think people, when they focus on the system, they think the system is behind a lot of things, but they also think that the system isn't also, or Satan isn't behind, like, these drugs that we take, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, in my opinion, if it's not prescribed to you, then you don't need it. Sometimes that costs money. I understand that too. But you know, if, it, if you're if you're doing it for like recreational reasons, you're not doing it to get enlightened. And I said that is the first step. Enlightenment is only the first step. And I'm gonna get to that in a second. Then what are you doing with your life? You know what I'm saying? You're just trying to entertain yourself. You wasting time on something you need to like uh, grasp your focus on that you're trying to accomplish instead of just like oh you could just take a breather. And just let's go do acid, let's go. Or you just want to do it, just like I said, for recreational reasons, which I don't respect. At the same, at the, at the end of the day, I don't respect people that do it for um, thoughtless reasons. You know, I, I'm, I'm not a drug head. You know what I'm saying? I used to smoke and all that stuff. You know what I mean? But I, I realized the bigger picture and the bigger power was within myself. And that's you know, if you're gonna start telling people, and I think saying God, the word, the name God alone. You're about to preach something just for a moment, you know what I'm saying? Because we're all leaders in our own way because we come from the higher leader. So anytime you mention God and you do these things, you either on a journey, everybody's journey is different, you know, or you just entertain yourself through things that um, deceive you, you know what I'm saying? And what psychedelics does is that it it triggers it's a chemical and each one is different because there's nothing magical about mushroom because the magic is it was is within you you know so um the feeling that you're feeling is is what's gonna is gonna trigger you know what i'm saying if you, if you realize you're not just focused on one thing your mind goes everywhere everybody's body is different but the purpose of it is to trip you out you know what i'm saying that some people believe and um, most people, I mean, it does, it trips you out. Yeah, it does trip you out because you're not really seeing what you're seeing. And it's, it's just, uh, it's a deceiver to be honest, because it's not meant for us. What you're feeling is what that chemical or that plant feels on a daily basis. Imagine if they had eyes, 
they be tripping too. Or if like imagine if the plant smoked you or like just you know what I'm saying? If it was possible a plant could smoke us or eat us or something, how you think they would feel? They'll be tripping because that that's their body's not used to it, it's trying to adjust to its nature. That's what our body does, is try to adjust to that chemical's nature, which is not supposed to happen because it's it, it's like God gives us ingredients that makes us who we are. He gives us like things that um, is within our bodies that's not too much of anything. So when you take shrooms, you, your eyes are dilated, you're seeing maybe distorted patterns. You can already do that by, I, I have like this thing on Instagram and um, hold on, it's not even on this phone. Let me show y'all. I saved it. It's a pattern distortion, I would say. And this thing, if you look right directly in the middle for like a minute and look up, you get the effects of like acid. That's what they say, you know. Um, let me find it real quick. All right, so is this. This video right here, let me try to brighten it. This right here alone, y'all can see that. That, if you look right in the middle of it for like a minute, and shout out to this page too, man, it's, it's actually pretty dope. Yeah, I mean, they probably want some psychedelic stuff, but I mean, I think it's just artistic, you know, expression, I would say. I like art, you know? So, um. If you look at that for like a minute, it gives you the effects of like LSD or acid or something. You know what I'm saying? So, um, which you didn't take nothing. You didn't take LSD. What happened? And you don't even feel it. That's the thing. But you know, it, it lasts for like a couple seconds, but you can still control your mind, control the way you think and stuff like that. You can, but people don't believe is that they don't believe they're more powerful just them alone, just within themselves. What these drugs do is just trigger that specific part of the brain or the body, which creates the illusion of self. You know what I'm saying? That's what I believe. You know what I mean? Like I said, my opinion is valid, but it doesn't have to be correct to some people. But because I, I meditate, I can already feel this stuff. What you see, like when you see the sword of images, just imagine that that's what your body feels like. When you meditate and when you like, you like. So I'll get to the energy part when it comes to, because people say they're in, they, when you do it, you get enlightened. You know what I'm saying? And what they don't know is that enlightenment is only the first step. Enlightenment is only the first step. Then after enlightenment, there's a thing called solar energy. What's solar? Solar is the sun. So that's like sun gazing, meditating in front of the sun, which I do. You know what I'm saying? Um, good for your skin too, if I can add. Um, so yeah, solar energy. And then after that, after you develop solar energy, which creates like higher thinking and um, helps you think more, helps you, uh, and let me tell you something. If you want to talk about colors, distortion, all that, that's already, if you can't find the sun, you can't do it like in the middle of the day. Like I said, I think I said it for my blog. Um, you have to get like you have to catch it in the morning. You know what I'm saying? You have to catch it like early in the morning. What that does is creates like higher thinking. And when you open your eyes, man, it looks so amazing outside. It just looks so amazing. You have no choice but to walk slower than what you want. It affects on being high. It affects on being. But the only difference is you don't feel that tension from that drug. You know what I'm saying? You don't feel the, the tension of the drug. You don't feel like paranoia. You know what I'm saying? And then to indi what indicates on this topic, people, some people have argued that this is how religion has started. I definitely don't believe that. You know what I'm saying? So um, because of the, the support and evidence that I claim to know, you know what I mean? And I, I believe it so. Because it doesn't make any sense because 
If you're telling me, what you're telling me is true, psychedelics is how religion got started. You're telling me that this person had the same exact trip. These people have the same exact trips. Occasionally, every time, not, not even occasionally, it was all the time, years and years and years and years and years, thousands of years now. You know what I'm saying? And they just develop the same trip. They, you know, what, what else you want to say? Satan is the bad trip. Satan was barely like he's mentioned in the Bible, but his, his the focus wasn't even on him because they already know he is of evil. You know what I'm saying? He, he was of good and was an angel at one point, but now he's the deceiver. He is the snake. You know what I'm saying? And you physically saw him. You know, so you can just kick that idea right out the window. You know what I mean? So. And then what indicates a bad trip to me is bad energy, bad uh, ener me mental. I'll say like what indicates a bad trip in the reality state is pain, paranoia, natural paranoia, natural pain, and natural um, negative energy, negative mentality and energy. I believe that and what indicates, a, if you want a um, positive and good trip, what indicates that is just waking up every morning and just uh, with a smile and a declaration to what you're going to achieve and what you're going after. You know what I'm saying? And then focus. Everything that the chemical you claim helps you with is something, it's like the easy way. It's like... You're trying to reach, you're trying to grab something that's on a rope, but the rope is so high, you can't even reach it, so you know you gotta, you know, you gotta get a ladder or something. You gotta get something to help you go up there, and it's not gonna be easy, because you actually physically gotta take those steps. You gotta physically take those steps, then you reach whatever you're trying to achieve. What a drug does is like, I'll put it to you like this, you know how you say things seem further or closer? This is the illusion, and it's just an example. Imagine, that it, like I said, it's whatever's on that rope is so high. When you're on the drugs, it lowers it. You know what I'm saying? It's just an illusion. You're grabbing it. But what happens when you got whatever you have right here without using a ladder or nothing? What happens when it wears off? It's slowly. It's going back up. Eventually, you can't. It's out of your reach. You can probably jump, touch it, but it's out of your reach because all of it was like a dream. You know what I'm saying? And that's basically what psychedelics is like taking like doing like 10 blunts or something and it's just like it's like a dream state you know and i also believe you can be you can die not from the chemical but from anxiety and heart attack let me and just to clarify just to like make it clear if you a friend of mine and you do psychedelics, if you were a friend of mine and you do psychedelics, I wouldn't mind. You know, actually, I would try to guide you through it. I'll try to be understanding as possible. Whatever you say it, even if it sounds crazy, I'll try to enlighten that idea, you know. But as far as, like, psychedelics, it's something that's, I would say, it's temporary and necessary in, in a sense. And because, I, I, I mean, you got to understand, it is illegal. You know, I believe, I, I don't believe in the the system laws because they can't even follow their own laws and stuff like that so how are we supposed to follow something that's deceiving itself you know so but some laws are meant to be what they are because they also believe that we have power like i said with the psychedelics it itself it alone itself is not as powerful as we are it's already developed in us it's already implanted in us which i believe by the Lord Almighty, you know what I mean? When I did it, I didn't know if I was on a bad trip or a good trip. All I know is I felt paranoia. I felt good. I felt like I heard more than what I was supposed to hear. My enhanced my hearing. You know, so I really, I was just chilling. And um, Don Lamar can vouch for me because I did it with him the first time. And then it got to a point, he, he asked me, he was like, bro, you, you sure you haven't done this before? Or whatever. And I was like, nah. He was like, man, you a pro. Like, you know, I'm not trying to flex or nothing. But I was just like, man, I'm just going with it. Like I said, you control whatever your destination is going to lead to on that trip. You know what I mean? But which is not easy for some people. But as soon as you start meditating and you be like, hey, I want to see what all the fuss is about. I'm going to do psychedelics in a safe manner. 
Um, if you're going to do it, man, just do it just to enlighten yourself. But just know that is only the first step. And I'm not telling you to do this because it is. To me, I believe it can be sinful because and I believe it in a spiritual way, not in a, in a religious way because of the power that is like every day, daily increasing in us. Every time you try to achieve something, just know whatever you speak out there is going to happen. If you're looking to get fucked up, you're going to get fucked up. If you're looking to get enlightened, you're going to get enlightened because our vocal patterns express whatever energy we tend to pull it out. I mean, and um, spiritually, I, I believe. Like I said, if you want to be recreational, recreational with it, excuse me, then be recreational. But just know what's going to happen. Don't go around saying this is how it is to other people because this is the mentality you have behind the drug is only you. You know what I'm saying? So if, if, if please, when you tell first timers, if they tend to, if they want to do this, which is not going to be easy. It's not easy to get this stuff. Please don't tell them that they're going to be tripping and tripping. Like, dude, first of all, yeah, I trip every day. I see things that I, I have to, like, focus on. You know what I'm saying? But naturally, you know, sometimes I wonder, like, what is my dog doing? Like, what's, I'm tripping. She only just trying to clean herself. You know what I'm saying? That type of thing. What I would tell a first timer is have clear intentions. Use it to educate yourself. But only know that it's just enlightenment. That's it. Then there's solar energy, then there's righteous energy. Depending on what you believe, it'll be a next step for you. Just know that whatever you're feeling, don't give that chemical the credit because all it does is trigger like that part of the brain. Like I said, like shrooms can trigger um, ideas and visuals. LSD could trigger um, mental state. All right, y'all, so unfortunately it was gonna storm and um as you can see i'm going to continue to vlog inside my house about you know psychedelics bad trips and good trips and um people believe so on it affects you know so i'm gonna continue try to continue where i left off hopefully i don't really like repeat anything i said but you'll get the picture and you'll get like new ideas and you know opinions from me you know what i'm saying like i said it's just my opinion my opinion is not i mean it is valid you know so um but I'm just speaking from a spiritual uh, mind state, you know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue and to keep y'all entertained. I don't know if y'all knew this or not, but I know how to draw. I don't just rap. So I'm going I'm to finish this drawing and show you guys the results afterwards while I, you know, tell you that way you have something to look forward to if this is getting boring. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to keep it uh, as uh, entertaining as possible. So bear with me. I'll... I'll would have been a whole lot better with my co-star, you know, uh, Don Lamar, as you know. Shout out to Don Lamar. He's uh, handling his business right now, working, working, man, you know, trying to make it out here during this, uh, like, horrible, yet comes out to a blessing impact, you know, at the end result, you know, so all this is necessary, you know, that I'm doing. So, um, basically to continue where I left off, I think that, um, well, I'm going to start with shrooms, okay, since that's what I did. Um, they call it magic mushrooms. And this is the thing that's the deceiver. You can easily deceive the human eye and the human mind. I believe, you know what I'm saying? Just by titles alone, just by like what you call something or portray it to be, you know, what people, I think people, when they focus on the system, they think the system is behind a lot of things, but they also think that the system isn't also, or Satan isn't behind like these drugs that we take, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, in my opinion, if it's not prescribed to you, then you don't need it, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes that costs money. I understand that too. But you know, if, it, if you're if you're doing it for like recreational reasons, you're not doing it to get enlightened. And I said that is the first step. Enlightenment is only the first step. And I'm gonna get to that in a second. Then what are you doing with your life? You know what I'm saying? You're just trying to entertain yourself. You wasting time on something you need to like uh, 
grasp your focus on that you're trying to accomplish instead of just like oh you can just take a breather and just let's go do acid let's go or you just want to do it just like i said for recreational reasons which i don't respect at the same at the, at the end of the day i don't respect people that do it for um thoughtless reasons you know I, I'm, I'm not a drug head you know what i'm saying i used to smoke and all that stuff you know what i mean but I, I realized the bigger picture and the bigger power was within myself and that's you know if you're gonna start telling people and i think saying god the word the name god alone you're about to preach something just for a moment you know what i'm saying because we're all leaders in our own way because we come from the higher leader so anytime you mention god and you do these things you either on a journey everybody's journey is different you know or you just entertain yourself through things that um deceive you you know what i'm saying and what psychedelics does is that it it triggers it's a chemical and each one is different because there's nothing magical about rushing because the magic is it was is within you you know so um like the, the feeling that you're feeling is is what's gonna it's gonna trigger you know what I'm saying? If you, if you realize, you're not just focused on one thing. Your mind goes everywhere. Everybody's body is different, but the purpose of it is to trip you out. You know what I'm saying? That some people believe, and uh, most people, I mean, it does. It trips you out. Yeah, it does trip you out because you're not really seeing what you're seeing, and it's it's just uh, it's a deceiver, to be honest, because it's not meant for us. What you're feeling is what that chemical or that plant feels on a daily basis imagine if they had eyes they'd be tripping too or if like imagine if the plant smoked you or like just you know what i'm saying if it was possible a plant could smoke us or eat us or something how you think they would feel they'll be tripping because that that's their body's not used to it. it's trying to adjust to its nature that's what our body does is try to adjust to that chemical's nature which is not supposed to happen because it's it, it's like God gives us ingredients that makes us who we are. He gives us like things that um is within our bodies. That's not too much of anything. So when you take shrooms, you your eyes are dilated. You're seeing maybe distorted patterns, and you can already do that. By I, I have like this thing on Instagram and um. Hold on, it's not even on this phone. Let me show y'all. I saved it. It's a pattern distortion, I would say. And this thing, if you look right directly in the middle for like a minute and look up, you get the effects of like acid. That's what they say, you know. Um, let me find it real quick. Just give me a second. This thing's gonna be crazy. All right, so it's this. This video right here, let me try to brighten it. This right here alone, y'all can see that. That, if you look right in the middle of it for like a minute, and shout out to this page too, man, it's, it's actually pretty dope. Yeah, I mean, they probably on some psychedelic stuff, but I mean, I think it's just artistic, you know, expression, I would say. I like art, you know? So, um. If you look at that for like a minute, it gives you the effects of like LSD or acid or something. You know what I'm saying? So, um, which you didn't take nothing. You didn't take LSD. What happened? And you don't even feel it. That's the thing. But you know, it, it lasts for like a couple of seconds, but you can still control your mind, control the way you think and stuff like that. You can, but people don't believe is that they don't believe they're more powerful just them alone, just within themselves. What these drugs do is just trigger that specific part of the brain or the body which creates the illusion of self. You know what I'm saying? That's what I believe in, you know what I mean? Like I said, my opinion is valid, but it doesn't have to be correct to some people, but because I, I meditate, I can already feel this stuff. What you see, like when you see distorted images, that's, imagine that, that's what your body feels like when you meditate. And when you like, so I'll get to the energy part. 
when it comes to because people say they're they when you do it you get enlightened you know what i'm saying and what they don't know is that enlightenment is only the first step enlightenment is only the first step then after enlightenment there's a thing called solar energy what's solar solar is the sun so that's like sun gazing meditating in front of the sun which i do you know what i'm saying um good for your skin too if i can add um so yeah solar energy and then after that after you develop solar energy which creates like higher thinking and um helps you think more helps you uh and let me tell you something if you want to talk about colors distortion all that that's already if you can't find the sun you can't do it like in the middle of the day like i said i think i said it for my blog um you have to get like you have to catch it in the morning you know what i'm saying you have to catch it like early in the morning or uh in the evening when it's a nice sunset you know so uh what that does is creates like higher thinking there when you open your eyes man it looks so amazing outside it just looks so amazing you have no choice but to walk slower than what you want it effects of being high it effects on being but the only difference is you don't feel that tension from that drug you know what I'm saying? you don't feel the, the tension of the drug you don't feel like paranoia you know what i'm saying and then to indi what indicates on this topic people some people have argued that this is how religion has started i definitely don't believe that you know what i'm saying so um because of the, the support and evidence that i claim to know you know what i mean and i i believe it so because it doesn't make any sense because if you're telling me what you're telling me is true psychedelics is how religion got started you're telling me that this person had the same exact trip these people have the same exact trips occasionally every time not, not even occasionally it was all the time years and years and years and years and years thousands of years now you know what i'm saying and they just develop the same trip. They, you know, what, what else you want to say? Satan is the bad trip. Satan was barely like he's mentioned in the Bible, but his, his the focus wasn't even on him because they already know he is of evil. You know what I'm saying? He, he was of good and was an angel at one point, but now he's the deceiver. He is the snake. You know what I'm saying? You physically saw him. You know, so you can just kick that idea right out the window. You know what I mean? So. And then what indicates a bad trip to me is bad energy, bad uh, inner, me mental. I'll say like what indicates a bad trip in the reality state is pain, paranoia, natural paranoia, natural pain, and natural um, negative energy, negative mentality and energy. You know, so... Um, I believe that and what indicates of if you want a um, positive and good trip what indicates that is just waking up every morning and just um, with a smile and a declaration to what you're going to achieve and what you're going after you know what I'm saying and then focus everything that the chemical you claim helps you with is something it's like the easy way. It's like you're trying to reach, you're trying to grab something that's on a rope, but the rope is so high, you can't even reach it. So you know you got to, you know, you got to get a ladder or something. You got to get something to help you go up there. And it's not going to be easy because you actually physically got to take those steps. You got to physically take those steps. Then you reach whatever you're trying to achieve. What a drug does is like, I'll put it to you like this. You know how you say things seem further or closer? This is the illusion. And it's just an example. Imagine, that, it, like I said, it's, whatever's on that rope is so high. When you're on the drugs, it lowers it. You know what I'm saying? It's just an illusion. you grabbing it. But what happens when you got whatever you have right here without using a ladder or nothing? What happens when it wears off? It's slowly. It's going back up. Eventually, you can't. It's out of your reach. You can probably jump, touch it, but it's out of your reach because all of it was like a dream. You know what I'm saying? And that's basically what psychedelics is. It's like taking like, doing like 10 blunts or something. And it's just like, it's like a dream state, you know?
And I also believe you can be, you can die not from the chemical, but from anxiety and heart attack. You know, so um, let me and just to clarify, just to like make it clear, if you a friend of mine and you do psychedelics, if you were a friend of mine and you do psychedelics, I wouldn't mind. You know, actually, I would try to guide you through it. I'll try to be understanding as possible. Whatever you say it, even if it sounds crazy, I'll try to enlighten that idea. You know, but as far as like psychedelics, it's something that's, I would say, it's temporary, necessary, and in a sense, and because I, I, I mean, you gotta understand, it is illegal. You know, I believe I, I don't believe in the the system laws because they came and follow their own laws and stuff like that. So, how are we supposed to follow something that's deceiving itself? You know, so but some laws are meant to be what they are because they also believe that we have power. You know, and. Like I said, with the psychedelics, it itself, it alone itself, is not as powerful as we are. It's already developed in us, it's already implanted in us, which I believe by the Lord Almighty. You know what I mean? So, um, I, I can't really, when I did it, I didn't know if I was on a bad trip or a good trip. All I know is I felt paranoia, I felt good, I felt... Like I uh, heard more than what I was supposed to hear, my enhance my hearing. You know, so I really I was just chilling, and um, Don Lamar can vouch for me because I did it with him it was the first time, and then it got to a point. He he asked me, he was like, "Bro, are you sure you haven't done this before, or whatever?" And I was like, "Nah." He was like, "Man, you a pro." Like, you know, I'm not trying to flex or nothing, but I was just like, "Man, I'm just going with it." Like I said, you don't let it ride it. You ride. You, you don't ride it. You know what I'm saying? Let the, the, the drug's supposed to ride you. You know what I'm saying? You don't ride a drug. You let it ride you because you're more powerful. You control whatever your destination is gonna lead to on that trip. You know what I mean? But which is not easy for some people. But as soon as you start meditating and you be like, hey, I wanna see what all the fuss is about. I'm gonna do psychedelics in a safe manner. Um, if you're gonna do it, man, then do it just to enlighten yourself. But just know that is only the first step. And I'm not telling you to do this because it is. To me, I believe it can be sinful because and I believe it in a spiritual way, not in a, in a religious way, because of the power that is like every day, daily increasing in us. Every time you try to achieve something, just know whatever you speak out there is going to happen. So if you're looking to get fucked up, excuse my language, but that's what people say. If you're looking to get fucked up, you're gonna get fucked up. If you're looking to get enlightened, you're going to get enlightened because our vocal patterns express whatever energy we tend to pull it out. I mean, and um, spiritually, I, I believe, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, if you want to be recreational, recreational with it, excuse me, then be recreational. But just know what's going to happen. Don't go around saying this is how it is to other people because this is the mentality you have behind the drug is only you. You know what I'm saying? So, if you, if, if, please, when you tell first timers if they tend to, if they want to do this, which is not going to be easy, it's not easy to get this stuff. Please don't tell them that they're going to be tripping and tripping. Like, dude, first of all, yeah, I trip every day. I see things that I, I have to like focus on, you know what I'm saying? But naturally, you know, sometimes I wonder, like, what is my dog doing? Like, what's I'm tripping? She only just trying to clean herself, you know, I'm sorry, that type of thing. What I would tell a first timer is have clear intentions, use it to educate yourself, but only know that it's just enlightenment. That's it. Then there's solar energy, then there's righteous energy. Depending on what you believe, it'll be a next step for you. Just know that whatever you're feeling, don't give that chemical the credit because all it does is trigger like that part of the brain like i said like shrooms can trigger um ideas and visuals lsd could trigger um mental states like you like a bad trip could be stuck in your mind and visuals too but I'm, you're not going to be seeing trolls and stuff like that you're thinking that but you're not seeing it you know 
and then DMT, acid, all that stuff that can trigger like moves and like, I mean, I guess that'll be like Molly and stuff, like how you feel and all that, but you know, it, it kind of is in within the same balance and level of each other. So, like I said, man, you have good intentions behind everything you do in life. And just know that if you don't want to believe that you have a greater power than whatever can be fed inside of your body, if it's not natural food, then by all means, carry that on your back throughout your life. But just know, just know what you have to do just to get that drug and what you have to, where you have to be just to do that drug. You can't go around doing it like freely because whatever the system can control is not your power. You know what I'm saying? It's a power that deceives you thinking that it's a greater power. They can control, don't do drugs. They can't control me meditating because I can do it because the powerful is greater than their law. You know, the power within me is greater than their law. You can't tell me not to meditate. It's illegal. How you know if I'm doing it or not? You know what I'm saying? Meditation is the key. Psychedelics, you know, whatever you want to do with it, do with it. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, that's that's how you however you treat. Like my, like I said, it's valid. What I'm saying is my opinion. You know, but I just know there's something greater within the eye that whatever. You know, you can discover is within yourself, and whatever you you want to escape is within your power. You know, because you can control it because you're great. The way I believe in God and stuff is just if it, it, he's he's the creator, then we're the power. We're His power. We follow within His power. We have our own power and our own source. So that's why you think if you got you study. Look, people study God, but they don't know Him. Think about it. Why you gotta take this one already? Put it in. I gave you ingredients and. All these things, the ingredients that God gave us is balanced out into human form and it stays within the human form. So if you take LSD, shrooms, acid, DMT, I'll say ecstasy, whatever, it, it, it'll take this source. Shrooms will greater this source, lower this source, greater that source, lower that source by a little bit. Instead of it being balanced out just like this, it raises this Puts this one down, raises that, depending on your mentality, depending on whatever you're thinking at the time. And just like with anything, any of those things. But only thing that it can do is enlighten. You know what I'm saying? But yes, you are enlightened, but some people feel their heart also beating. But just know that it can, it's like, it's like messing with knobs in the, if you ever seen the studio, they go like this. Everything's supposed to be equal. You know what I'm saying? In this, in these terms, everything's supposed to be equal, but it'll mess with it like this. And you're just like, whoa. Okay, now I'm thinking this way. All right, now I don't think that way no more. You know what I'm saying? It's that type of thing. So if that if that explains it as good as you know your understanding, then by all means that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? But just know all these things creates the illusion of self. People think this is the reality. No, man, it's not because look, if I take this phone and let's say I'm on shrooms and this thing is like going in, I'm seeing shapes and stuff. How is that reality when I can feel that it's actually just a rectangle? It's not this corner going up here, that corner going, which you probably won't even see, but it's not all over the place. I'm feeling this is a rectangle. So that ends that argument. This is reality. You got to meet reality on reality's terms. You got to meet God on God's terms. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand the power is within you and you're supposed to coach, control that power. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, but as far as psychedelics, man, my trip, I think I had a good trip, but all it was is just, you know, it was just like a intense hot to me. And what was cool about my trip was I got to discuss you know, my spirituality, my meditation, and I already do this on regular basis. Like, Don Lamar knows me. Ask him, um, when he first met me, what's the very first conversation before we, before any, I started with him, or when I did it at the time, 
You know what I'm saying? Because I used to smoke way before I moved to Orlando. But you know, I stopped. So when I first met him, I was, you know, he was him and I was me. And the first conversation was an enlightening conversation, man, because he, he always, he, he liked me for that reason, because I was, he, he thought I was, you know, real and spiritual and stuff. So, you know, I just connected with people or tried to, you know, right now I'm just kind of like my own little spiritual quarantine. So I'm really, I'm not really talking to everybody right now. Um, but I got to talk about, you know, like everything that had to do with spirituality and stuff. And he was, he, I said, bro, if you want me to stop, I can stop. You know, he's like, no, no, I want you to continue. This is some good stuff. I need to hear this and stuff. You know, we were just talking about love and how love is implanted in us. God has implanted love in us. A plant doesn't have love. A plant just has whatever that chemical is. They don't have to go through pain. They don't have to go through depression or misery or like, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's why people think this is the key. Like weed is, the, everything is the key. No, this is the thing. It's like God starts you down here, right? He starts you on the first level. I'm gonna implant love in you cause that's all I am. I'm love, you know what I'm saying? So I, I plant love in you, but just know every level in life is gonna be pain, depression, misery. But this is how you're supposed to, you know, um, conquer it. It's just, you're, you're in that state, but you stay there for a little bit. You recognize it. And I believe when you cry, that's love and understanding the situation that you're going through. You know, you don't understand that because, or you can't see it right now because it's, you're all up here and not here and here and inside. You know, in spirit is understanding. That's why you get that feeling. Like even with something good after you're crying because it's, it's, it's love pouring out and physically showing itself. So you, you don't stay in depression, you don't stay in pain, you don't, it's all steps to reach your wisdom. You know, so you have, like it's like having a portfolio or um, resume when you go, when you, you know, when you die. You have, like, it's like a resume for God. What is your resume looking like? I see you went through this, I see you went through this, and now the reason why you're here is because you overcame everything. You know, if you, it depends on what your spirituality is. I ain't trying to get biblical with y'all, you know what I'm saying? But it, you got to be deeper than what you are. You got Sometimes you need to, you probably want to need a bigger show than what you grabbed in the first place. You know, so it's like a kid. You got to give a kid when he's a baby. He's one, everything you got to dig in life. You got to dig in life. Even when you're a kid, you get a little shovel. When you get a little older, you get a bigger one, bigger one, bigger one. You can't just stay with a little one because you're not going to go as far as you, as deep as you're trying to get. So yeah, um, but that wraps it up for this vlog, and I am you know, finished. I would say I'm almost finished, you know what I'm saying? I had to talk with y'all a little bit, so, you know. But I'll show y'all my picture, or whatever, so uh, my drawing. Y'all can see that. And um, yes, this, is, this isn't just a random drawing, this is actually somebody that I care about. And um, I'm not gonna say her name or whatever, because you know, I'm not, I just don't want to put her out there like that, you know. So um, she left me maybe just for a moment. We weren't together, no. we were actually good friends. We were working on, you know, talk, talking and stuff like that. So we were having a connection. You know, it didn't get as deep as it should have because she has things going on in her life right now that I have to respect. And, um, you know, just not intervening, you know. But one thing I do pray about that, I, you know, that she, she understands she calling me about anything, you know. You know, she has a uh, a baby father and all that stuff. So I don't one thing I do I don't wanna do is like intervene in anybody's life. But you know when you care about somebody, you know, you're willing to um either wait for them or you're willing to move on. You know, but to, to understand it depends on the circumstance and how it would happen. So in my case, I would just have to wait, you know? So, um, like I said, I'm not gonna get, it's, it's her business, you know, but this is somebody I care about. And sometimes what I believe is like, depending on how good my art is, it, it determined whether um, that person was meant to be in my life, you know, just even if it was for a moment and it came out really good. I don't know, I don't know if you see it as good on the camera, but you know, I'll, give, I'll show y'all one more time, you know what I'm saying? 
That's her right there. You know, she's very beautiful. And um, I, I, I mean, I, I'll, I'll say she is a good friend of mine, you know, and somebody I, you know, I do have, you know, feelings for her. I'm growing feelings for it. But as right now, I got to uh, put it on pause. I got to take, we, we got to take a time out so everything gets figured out. And I'm, you know, I think I'll hear from her again. I'll speak into her existence. I'll meditate on it, that she's safe and everything. And I'll get the opportunity to catch back up and continue where we left off because life is a marathon, you know what I'm saying? You know, you can you, you, you can slow down, take a breather, but just know that everything is worth finishing. I thank y'all so much for tuning into this vlog. You know, so everybody that stayed on. It's t a.k.a. your boy K. Brown, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to have more vlogs on the way too, so please stay tuned, man. Everything, we're trying to, just like the world's trying to open back up, we're trying to open back up New Age Order. So keep faith, stay blessed, you know what I'm saying? Grind it out, whatever you're trying to achieve, man, strive for it. Keep going, you know what I'm saying? Don't give up.